It's now 541 on this uh, Friday morning. Carson, we're making it to the end of the work week, and this yep. week we were blessed with some rain. Yes, and we certainly needed that rain. We have more rain chances in, uh, in the forecast today, Isaac. We are dealing with a few showers for our central and eastern counties at this point, especially along Interstate 30 near the Mount Pleasant area. Let me go ahead and put this radar in motion for you. And as you can see, we really don't have a lot across our southwestern counties, with the exception of the cell that has popped up near the Rusk area here over the last 20 or 30 minutes or so. But the majority of the activity right now is in our northern counties from Camp County up into Mount Pleasant there in Titus County. We're seeing some light rain at times, but nothing to alarm you. You're just going to need to keep your wits about you if you're driving into work this morning. And then some patches of heavier rain starting to push off to the northeast into Louisiana over the Toledo Bend Reservoir near the Hemp Hill and Pineland area there. So we'll keep an eye on that. And we're also keeping an eye on fog. Of, of course, those visibility readings, we're really not seeing that much of reduced visibility, so no fog in the area yet this morning, but that could start to change. Not a clock, few showers and thunderstorms becoming more numerous at noon, and then as we head into 5, 6 o'clock, we will start to see the rain taper off, but we're going to see breezy conditions. You can see those red arrows on your screen. That indicates a strong southerly wind, and then heading into the overnight hours, we're just going to remain cloudy. No rains in the forecast for tonight, so if you have those plans, they will not be impacted, and then tomorrow afternoon, a couple bubble up showers and thunderstorms through six o'clock. And then by the time we get into Sunday morning, about five o'clock, more clouds on the way. Temperatures right now are in the 70s. We warm up into the 80s today, so not half bad for a late June day here in East Texas. Isolated chance of a few showers and thunderstorms Saturday, Sunday and Monday. But by the time we head into next Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, we do dry out with partly cloudy skies in deep East Texas following as well. For the latest weather information, you can head on over to our website that is KEPK.com.